Homeowners whose flats are chosen for Selective On-Block Redevelopment Scheme, or SERS, will soon be allowed to choose to buy a new flat on a shorter lease or sell leases back to the government. National Development Minister Desmond Lee says that this will help strike a balance between housing redevelopment plans and meeting the needs of existing residents, especially seniors. Rebecca Meteo reports. In April, four blocks in Ang Mo Kyo were chosen for the Selective on Block Redevelopment Scheme, or SERS. Under the scheme, homeowners from some 606 units across the blocks get the option to move to a replacement site nearby. This may be a newer but smaller flat or pay a bit more for a similar sized flat. But the MP for the area, Nadia Ahmad Samdin, says her residents, especially the seniors, have raised several issues and financial concerns. And many residents who showed me their estimated financial plans were worried that just to maintain a flat of the same size in the replacement site could involve a top up of $70,000, $90,000, which meant dipping into their retirement savings or trying to find a new loan. In response, the Housing and Development Board is now offering residents the added option to buy a similar sized flat at the replacement site on a shorter 50 year lease. Or homeowners can sell part of their existing flat's lease to HDB and buy a shorter lease replacement flat after. National Development Minister Desmond Lee says these options will also be extended to residents and Marceling as part of the expansion of Woodlands Checkpoint as well as future SERS projects. In fact, we are studying variations of shorter term ownership options for older homeowners involved in SERS exercises and have decided to offer this option now to better address the needs of older residents from this SERS exercise onwards. Mr. Lee says flats selected for past SERS exercises were generally younger. And the market value of these flats was sufficient for homeowners to purchase a similar new replacement flat. Moving forward with older flats, a shorter lease may help meet the needs of different homeowners alongside planning for the future. We seek to strike a good balance between meeting the needs of existing residents by providing them with a new flat and giving them other options while redeveloping the site to provide for future housing needs of Singaporeans. There has been no change to our approach on the compensation to residents. But with the SERS flats being older, we have now introduced a wider range of rehousing options and choices for residents who can then decide which one best meets their needs. Recognising that there are also residents who would prefer not to move or would like a one-for-one -one replacement at no additional cost, Mr Lee says HDB will look into these concerns, but authorities may not be able to meet everyone's expectations.